I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the full trends that I will be partaking in along with some of the trends to keep your eye out for so the first trend for fall that I will be taking part in is feathers definitely a trend that circles around every few cooler seasons I usually tend to ignore it if I'm honest because I don't really I'm really specific about my feathering detailing what I hate most is when feathers on clothes look sad no volume thin I really don't like that and so to get a good feathered piece I feel like you have to spend a bit of money which I don't mind but I haven't really ever found something that I think warrants to spend however for this particular trend I do have my eye on a Brandon Blackwood coat that at the moment is sold out but I am hoping and praying that it comes back into stock because I really really enjoy this this coat I am actually looking for a leather biker style jacket so when I saw this jacket I thought oh, it is so cute it's so cute and the feathering on the uh, on the sleeves a nice amount of feathering for me it's not too much but it is very full and it kind of looks a bit expensive they do also have a like a trench coat that's got fur running all the way down the back which I totally love but practically i'm not really sure how often or where i'm going to be able to wear it to i do think it's a bit too much for work for me as a booby prize i do have the frankie shop biker jacket um as a second runner-up when it starts to get a bit cooler if the brandon blackwood one is not back in stock then i'm probably going to end up just buying the frankie shop biker jacket we have kind of seen like the feathered boob boob tube I tried on one from Club L London that is quite popular too so I don't have any of that kind of boob tube style in a darker colour so I definitely do think I will be picking up maybe a navy or a brownie colour if not a boob tube style then definitely maybe something that's a bit more corseted I think that feathering looks best on outerwear and on tops I'm not really sure that I've seen a style of skirt or dress with feathering that I I really love but that could change but definitely feathering I think is a is a trend to dip your toe in if you're interested in any of the trends for the full season so the next trend that actually kind of falls through through um from summer is red and not just red but all red for summer I did pick up a couple of red pieces not tons I have kind of like a love hate relationship with red sometimes I really really enjoy it and other times I don't really feel the vibe with it but some of the all red looks that I have been seen on the runway just look so nice it looks so elevated it looks expensive with a twist I'm not boring expensive I'm excited expensive <laughs> I did more recently pick up another red dress from and other stories actually from their last chance section I think this red on red styling I will give it a try but I think when I do it was probably going to be with a dress and coat combo more than trousers I think at the moment I haven't really seen a pair of trousers that I really really love in red when I'm kind of testing out a trend or trying something new that I usually prefer to try out in dresses and tops more than I do in, in trousers maybe because I'm limited because I'm so tall I don't really have that many trouser options super available to me but I do really love the way that this looks and so if you do have any red left over from summer definitely a way to make double use of those items and kind of switch them up for full put on a pair of trousers put on a pair of tights put on a pair of boots and a coat and then you're set so that's another trend to accept expect for fall 2023 the next trend that i think i will be dipping my toe in is in tailoring or workwear i did have twins about 13 14 months ago so i am going back to work and i have actually been looking for a few things to update my wardrobe because at the moment i think i am probably going on like almost two years almost out of the workplace and before that we were in a pandemic so I wasn't really leaving the house I was working remotely 100% so I don't really have much work wear that I love in my wardrobe so I'm keen to give it a refresh and actually I went on to Zara a couple of days ago and they do have quite a few work wear 
tight pieces that have just a little bit of extra detailing on it so i did note that they had a vest that had like a slit at the side which i really like the look of like a gray vest with a slit which i think would look really nice over a white shirt i don't necessarily have to or want to be wearing um lots of suiting but definitely more structured tailored pieces i think is what i'll be going for i definitely want to find my pet myself a nice pair of super tailored trousers and then maybe mixing that with a nice um blouse or something like that for work i think would look really really nice i think if you if there is any time to lean a bit harder into suiting or into tailoring it is for the fall and winter months because when you hit that sweet spot with some of the layering maybe like a nice blouse with a suit jacket on top or a blazer on top and a nice pair of well fitting tailored trousers you can't go wrong it's definitely an opportunity to kind of elevate your look getting the tailoring down and so i definitely will be taking part in the workwear trend for the full season the next trend that is kind of coming over from spring summer is metallics metallics will still be trending for full this year and i'm actually excited by that prospect because most of the metallics that i ended up buying for for spring summer i haven't had a chance to wear yet so it's going to be a really good opportunity for me to wear those pieces i also still haven't found a really nice silver metallic corset i really really want one i just haven't found one that is the right shade of metallic for me yet but i will be investing in one as soon as i find it i'm gonna buy it <laughs> a nice metallic corset trousers that were super popular at zara are actually quite nice because the metallic is kind of broken i think looked really really nice but they just weren't long enough for me so i wasn't able to pick those up but if i can find a metallic pair of jeans or a metallic pair of trousers that i love i also will be investing in a pair of those what i've got in my mind's eye is a really nice metallic look with a corset metallic jean together i think that's going to look really really nice and with of course everything renaissance <laughs> happening at the moment with beyonce's tour i feel like brands are kind of putting out a bit more metallic because they know that we need it for the concert and you guys make sure that you are subscribed because i do have a friend's birthday to go to in a couple of weeks a few weeks so if i can find something in time for then then i will share that with you guys but yeah metallics is definitely a trend that i would recommend trying out for the full for the full season the next trend that will be popular for fall 2023 is the hourglass trend and i've also seen this called the peplum trend so basically just wearing pieces that have quite um, a lot of shape to them more of maybe a structured shape to them so if you're wearing a dress something that has quite a defined waist and quite defined hips and if you're wearing a top something that kind of accentuates your hip and your waist so i don't even know this if this is technically a trend because i think that this shaping of clothing has been quite popular for some time but as somebody who is quite curvaceous i feel like i of course i'm going to take part in this trend because i just feel like it complements my shape and any shape actually i think adding dimension to your shape always looks really really nice i am obsessed with corsets if you guys can't tell so i have seen a couple of corsets um i don't know if it was from acne studios i saw a really really nice one that i was considering picking up and i do also have a like a puff sleeved blouse from zara that i bought before the pandemic and have never ever worn so i am also going to be keeping my eye out for more formal pieces that have just a bit more built-in shape in them also there is a frankie shop blazer that i have had my eye on for years and every time i go to pick it up it is sold out and it's basically just it's cinched at the waist and it's got ex it's got exaggerated um sides on it so that blazer i probably finally need to pick up as well so yeah so that's the next trend for fall that i will be taking part in the next trend they're calling the great black coat and it's essentially about picking up a black coat basically and i'm sure we've all got some form of black coat in our cupboard last year i picked up a a black maxi puffer coat from and other stories 
but I, I mentioned in my wish list video that I really want to pick up a really really good quality winter coat I think the time has come I have gone so many winters with picking up coats that I enjoy but I don't really really love that it is definitely something that I want to do this season I want to spend a little bit more money and invest in a coat that I'm just going to have for all of my life initially i had my eye on the prada puffy coat i think that was before i picked up my and other stories when i was kind of like it's a classic style ish but it's puffy so it's kind of a bit more trendy which i liked about it i still might pick up that coat but i have also been seeing more like trenchy style coats you know without the puffering that i'm thinking might be a bit better in terms of longevity i feel like there might be coats i'm going to keep going back to for a longer period of time you know as i get older and stuff and mature a bit more i am kind of still in summer mode so and summer is my favorite season of the year oh, you know it breaks my heart to kind of start thinking about having to wrap up warm and stuff but it is something i am going to do and i definitely think it is worth taking part in this trend especially if you're in the workplace and if you live somewhere that is quite mild like i do based in london you know you're always going to be reaching for a cult <laughs> And so I definitely don't think you can go wrong investing in a really good quality black coat. These are all the trends for 2023 that I will be entertaining. Let me know what you think of the trends down in the comments below. Are there any trends or anything that you are definitely going to pick up for this fall? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. -bye.